So we're going to make a circle that is 11 to 12 inches in diameter. That's about uh, 28, 28 to 30 centimeter. Now we've got the circle, cut it out. And then we cut out the fabric. So we've got the circle. What we're going to do now is fold it in half. Okay. And then fold it again in half. So you have a cone. We're then going to cut this section, not the one that is divided into two, the main section. Okay, and then we're going to cut this too. So you have four. One, two, three, four. So like sides together, the good sides together. That's one. And the other good side together. It's two. So you can use your needle and thread to sew down this curve. The curve. So you sew this way and that way for both of them on the back. Okay, so now I've sewed this arc. Place the good sides together. Good side to good side. Match the seams, you match the seams and then we're going to sew from, not from the edge, leave about one inch and sew right up to this end and leave another one inch. You do the same for the bottom side. So you leave one inch on both edges, one inch to turn it over. And that's where we're going to put the elastic also. So now I'm going to sew it round. You can use your needle and try to sew it right round, but I'm going to use the machine. I finished sewing it. See that I left space to turn it over on both sides. Now we're going to turn it. filter. This is just basically uh, joining together 200% cotton and that's it. There's no room for filter. It's not, um, there's no opening for you to put filter in. So um, if you want to put in filter, you should put it in before you sew the top and the bottom. Okay. 
right what we're now going to do is fold in about two centimeters so I usually just take my rule mark that's one centimeter and another one centimeter hope you can see from the edge one centimeter and another one centimeter so I fold it at the first one centimeter and fold it again at the second one centimeter to make a casing for the um, elastic and then I'm going to sew it down here and on the other side we're going to cut out our elastic 8 inches Eight inches. You can see eight inches. Two of it. And then I'm going to so zigzag across both ends. I'm just going to turn it inside so the joining is not visible. Put it in there. there all done we're going to draft the second method right so you have a 16 centimeters by 17 centimeters 16 centimeters by 17 centimeter rectangle and then you're going to measure 10.5 and you centimeters mark it and on this side you're going to measure 14.5 make a mark on the other side you're going to measure 12 make a mark that's it now we're going to join the line what I usually do is measure a straight line about 6.5 centimeter up and then curve this line to join it okay so 14.5 12 then I just measured up a, just to have a straight line just measured up about 6.5 there and I curved from the 12 all the way to from here to here is 10.5 centimeters curved it all up now I'm going to join this to that as a curve And that's the pattern. So now I'll measure about 2.5 centimeter up. That's going to be my lining. And that's going to be the main fabric. So when I'm cutting it out, I'll cut one that stops here, two of that, and then I'll cut the full one two of that 
that's the green line. The seam allowance is already included, which is about 0 0.6 centimeters, and that's for everything. So, um, 0 0.6 centimeters in here, 0 0.6 centimeters here, and then on this side, 0 0.6 centimeters too. When you fold this one in, this one is about 2.5, so you fold in the 0 0.5, and then you make it, you sew it close to this place, but you'll see. The seam allowance is 0 0.5. 6.5 0 0.6 centimeter seam allowance 0 0.6 centimeter seam allowance okay, I've cut the two the lining is shorter than the main one so this is going to be inside the one that is actually touching your nose and the longer one is the one outside this method will allow you put in filters if you have any at home. So now we're going to sew the arc for both of them. Place good side to good side. The good side to good side. And then I'm going to sew the arc. I use a contrast thread so that you can see. So I've sewn the arc. And this is the lining one. This is the main one. For the lining, I'm going to go sew in one centimeter in for just one side of the lining so that you can slide in the um, filter. So I'm going to sew down one centimeter. So that's done. Now I'm going to join like term good side to good side. Matching the seams. And then I'm going to pin it down. And I'll go so all the way down and the bottom side of it. So I'm going to sew, and my seam allowance for this video is 0 0.6 centimeters, which is about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to sew that and that both ways. Okay, now that I've done the sewing on both sides, I'm now going to flip it over. Okay, and then I'm going to iron it out. See the lining section. What we're going to do is fold this side and let it align. Align with this. That way. And that will be the casing for the elastic. You align it that way. And this will be the opening for the filter. On the other end, we're going to close it up. That way. So there's no um, opening here. So we're going to close it up. But right now I'm going to iron it up. Done sold it. This is for the filter. The other end is closed. And now we put in the elastic and we're done. The elastic I'm cutting out 26 inches. Twenty six inches. I'm going to put it all around. I'll put it in from the, from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom. Okay. Now 
Now, that's the two method. The easier one is for beginners and somebody who did not know so much about sewing. And this one is for intermediate. So, those are the two types. Thank you for watching.